I would invite everyone to please stand for the playing of our national anthem. Please be seated. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Scotch Plain Fanwood High School's 2016 commencement. <laughs> seated behind me and in front of me are members of the high school faculty, principals from various schools, supervisors, central office administrators, and members of the Board of Education. These people have worked tirelessly to provide our students with a quality education. Thank you all for being here this evening. <laughs> Commencement is a time to reflect on your and our many successes and to look to the future. Graduates are recipients of so much advice from parents, older siblings, neighbors, and even their principal as they move into their next phase of life. But all I really need to know, I learned in kindergarten. I'm sure all of you have heard this phrase. It is actually the title of a book written by Robert Fulgham. To test the author's premise, I decided to visit some of our district's kindergarten classes and ask them what they consider to be the important things we should all know in order to be successful. Here is some of the advice I was given. Be really good at something. Be nice to your parents. Be respectful to your siblings. Listen to your teacher. Be good at reading and writing. Be respectful. Don't break any rules. Be nice to the people that you love. Be a good friend. If your friend is sad and has no one to play with, you help them. Share with others. Practice cartwheels in the backyard. Wash the dishes. Make your bed and help your parents. As you can imagine, my list of advice from kindergartners could go on. Thomas Kouopoulos, founder of the Delphi Group, indicates that there is no single formula for success but certain traits are in the DNA of every successful person. Here are just a few of the traits identified by Coopolis. A passion for improvement, such as practicing cartwheels to perfection in the backyard. Being grateful could be applied to being nice to your parents and siblings. 
striving for authenticity, the honesty and openness I experienced when visiting the kindergarten students, advocating for their consumer. One example could be sharing with others. A desire to give back, such as washing the dishes, making your bed, and helping your parents. Daniel Goleman, author of Emotional Intelligence, indicates that IQ and other technical skills are only threshold capabilities. Individuals can possess the best training in the world, endless ideas, and an analytical mind. But without emotional intelligence, they will not find themselves in leadership positions. The traits associated with emotional intelligence are learned behaviors. And yes, traits such as self-regulation, self-awareness, empathy, and social skill are learned in kindergarten and beyond. So in the end, my extensive research has found triangulation between Robert Fulgham, the author, Thomas Koopoulos, the Delphi Group, Robert Goldman, the researcher, and the emotional intelligence experts of the kindergarten classes. It has been my pleasure serving as your principal. Congratulations to all of you. It's now my pleasure to introduce the valedictorian of the class, Emily Boyle. Good evening and congratulations to the class of 2016. To my friends, family, teachers, and classmates, thank you for your unwavering support leading up to this day. I feel truly blessed to stand alongside those who have touched my heart with their respective humor, wholeheartedness, talents, and achievements over the past four years. It is a remarkably great feeling to think back and to be graced with the knowledge that where I am is not based solely on personal ambition, but also the tender words of wisdom and the moments you have shared with me. It was a difficult task to come up with what to say to you, and not because I had right of it, but because I did not think I would be able to fit all my emotions into mere minutes. When I thought back to the hour leading up to my first math final, I cringed. When I thought back to priceless character building experiences in JSA and youth in government, I grinned and got a bit choked up. When I thought back to marching band competitions, I sweated, bled, and shivered all at once. I credit all SPF gave me and gave all of us, not to luck, but to the beautiful gifts and aptitudes of the school's staff and body. In the mornings and afternoons, we were fueled with bursts of energy from Sean Cheney's announcements and from Mr. Moulter's plethora of knowledge about quite li literally everything, to Mrs. Brand's enlightenments on spelling and grammar, we swam through a generous pool of high quality teachings. What we are to do now is to look back. We must give thanks for all we have been given, reflect on it, and pull the best of the past and the peak of our joy into the future. When I walked in on the first day of freshman year, I was the same girl I am today. I was the same introvert, dog lover, ice cream eater, and Yankees fan that I am right now because it seems some things never change. And we're told some things never should change. But what SPF fostered in me and in all of us was something even more than we all ever knew we had. There was something in each of our hearts and all it needed to blossom was the care and compassion that the school embodies. As a student in Mr. Colsar's AP Gov class, I had some of my most noteworthy and funniest moments of high school that still make me laugh when I think about them. From talking about Popeyes to pork roll, or is it Taylor Ham, we had good times. Yet I also gained what I consider some of the most relevant knowledge I hold today. In that class, we dared to stray from the textbook for real-world discussions. 
we dared to enrich our minds with pertinent subjects. And most of all, we dared to have fun and enjoy ourselves, because after all, we are human. By the end of that class, I realized that when things fall into place and you've found the matter you want to pursue, it's a special kind of sensation. I'm grateful for having taken that course last year, because while I still have miles to go in my education, I've been given a foundation and a direction to follow what it is I truly love. The most imperative thing I learned in APGov is that we are entitled to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. So what I hope is that everyone is able to look back on some class, teacher, friend, or even day, when for them, something clicked. None of us needs to know precisely what we'll do or where we'll be in a year, five years, or 10 years. What I have been told and hold a strong belief in is that we are just to live blissfully. The realization that life is short makes us consider more closely how we spend our time. And with this in mind, we must not strive for perfection on the surf level, but rather a deeper spiritual perfection by seeking and loving ourselves. I implore you to please find what it is that is lit and continues to light up your smile and cherish it. Sometimes we must even go back to the basics and forget all the minor details in life. I look back on the wonderful childhood my parents gave me and their unconditional love. I realize how fortunate I am simply to have given a platform to become the person I was meant to be. SPF served as one of our final means of maturing, as the catalyst for the final reaction. But when I think back even further, I understand how impactful my early influences and those of my peers really were. So when I look to my roots, I look to the body of the high school, and I look to my faith, I comprehend the nature by which unified forces shape our irreplaceable selves. What high school was about and what life is about is exploring our strengths and how we may contribute to our own pleasure and that of our neighbors. We were all born with reasons for being, and as we move on to bigger and better things beyond high school, we are to live up to those purposes. Thank you again to everyone, and congratulations to 2016 a remarkable group I have been privileged to meet. I would now like to introduce the salutatorian of the class, Kara Foley. Hello class of 2016. Congratulations to everyone here today and thank you to everyone who supported all of us throughout this long journey. Thank you especially to all of my teachers, faculty, friends, and family. Well, the day is finally here when we get to collect our diplomas and leave good old Spiffy High forever. Whether you've been dreading this day or immensely looking forward to it, it is here, regardless of how you feel. I know many of you are probably very sad and think that these past 12 years may very well be the best years of your life, but they should definitely not be. Never again will we have to take the SAT, sit in sweltering classrooms at the crack of dawn, get a permission slip signed by our parents for an in-school field trip or ask permission to go to the bathroom. But on the other hand, never again will we get to eat lunch every day with the people we grew up with, be a part of Raider Nation at sporting events, attend the infamous SPFHS pep rally, or be greeted by the delightful Dr. Heisey in the morning. During my time at SPFHSS, I spent time with students involved in all different groups, ranging from sports, choir, band, 
DECA, SMAC, and more. Being in a variety of activities enabled me to meet all sorts of people in our grade with different interests, talents, and attributes to offer to our community. As we embark into the real world, I am confident that all of us will strive for success, regardless of what path we take. Or maybe you aren't sure what path you'd like to take just yet, but seeing the talents and passions of our diverse class has allowed me to understand how there are different opportunities out there for each and every one of us to leave our unique mark on. As we take this challenging next step, we should not ask ourselves, what's in this for me? But instead, what's in me for this? In other words, what can I contribute to the world? Make the choices that don't only benefit yourself, but those around you. Do what you're good at not what anyone else thinks you should or shouldn't do. And most importantly, make an impact. Don't be afraid to step outside of your comfort zone. If we are all brave enough to drive through the senior parking lot in the morning, we are brave enough to navigate the real world. We should also not dwell on what this school has done for us, because we already know that. It has enriched us with knowledge, new perspectives, and problem-solving skills, introduced us to lifelong friends, and given us, well, most of us, the maturity we need to advance in our lives. <laughs> Instead, we should think about what we can do for our school. And when I say what we can do for our school, I don't mean cleaning the forever blurry bathroom mirrors, or installing air conditioners. I mean representing our school in a positive light by using what we have learned here in our futures. We don't have to wave the Raider Nation flag and shout, go Raiders, on the first day of our first real job. But we should honor our school by doing the best job we can. Honor Mr. Cagle by checking your work, not once, but twice before handing in your first college exam. Honor RAF by not making any headlines. Honor Mrs. Kronick by accepting, although you could have painted that $2 million modern art painting, you didn't. Honor Mr. Abadir by never mixing any household cleaners and bleach. Honor Mr. Moulter by knowing the names of Americans you may have thought were insignificant to our country's history. Honor all the teachers that have gone the extra mile to help you succeed. Honor them by having a bright, positive, well-earned future attained by hard work, discipline, and motivation. But don't do it just for your teachers or your classmates or your parents. Do it for yourself, because we all deserve happiness and success after these long 12 years. As we ready ourselves to walk across the stage and finally graduate, just remember that the best is still yet to come. Remember your past and be grateful for it. These years have made us who we are and prepared us for the future we are now ready to face. Thank you. We will now have a musical selection from our senior chorus members.
I would now like to introduce the President of the Board of Education, Nancy Bauer. Good afternoon. It is my pleasure to congratulate you, the Scotch Plains Fanwood graduating class of 2016, on behalf of the entire Board of Education. It is one of the pleasures of our volunteer position to celebrate your success today. The words associated with this ceremony are important to consider. Commencement comes from the Latin and means to begin. So while this is the end of your high school years and accomplishments, it is also the time to begin the next part of your life's journey. And one thing we can be sure of in our increasingly fast-paced world is that you will face many decisions in life. Most recently was what to do after high school, and for many of you, choosing which college to attend. Another upcoming decision will be who to vote for in November. Hopefully you all are or soon will be registered to vote and will be voting in your first election, not only for president, but also for Congress and local elections. And don't forget, that means getting an absentee ballot if you can't come home to vote. Civic engagement was an important part of your high school experience, both as part of the curriculum and the extracurricular activities and volunteer work that you did. Another big decision you will likely be making in the future will involve technology. Although you have grown up with technology, I am sure your children will be incredulous at the technology you are using now. How will you balance and help them balance the use of the new technology to come so that perhaps you can still have dinner conversations around the table or instill an appreciation of the out of doors and our fragile environment? I am confident, though, that the values you have learned here in Scotch Plains and Fanwood and the education you have received will be an important foundation for these decisions you will need to make. Now, while the term commencement means to begin, the term graduation means to step. And when you graduate today, you will be stepping up, literally to come up the steps and figuratively as you begin those first steps to meet the opportunities and challenges ahead. I'm sure you learned in high school 
that success does not always come on the first try. I'm guessing that most of you have probably played Angry Birds at least once. It has been downloaded over two billion times and is the most highly purchased Apple app. What many people do not know, however, is that the company that developed Angry Birds has developed many other games. Angry Birds was not the first game they developed, nor the fifth, or even the 20th. No, it was their 52nd game. In fact, the company was about to go out of business. As one young entrepreneur summed up the path to, this, to success this way, work hard, fail a lot, but learn more. And we look forward to hearing about your accomplishments as alumni as you work hard and despite some failures along the way, learn a lot. So congratulations again from the entire board and remember that the best is yet to come and that this is your time. Congratulations. It's now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Margaret Hayes, the Superintendent of Schools. Thank you, Dr. Heise. Welcome parents, families, and friends, and congratulations to the amazing class of 2016. So today's the day. Within a few minutes, you will officially be graduates of Spiffy High. Your families, your parents, friends, and teachers are beaming with joy. They are so proud of all you have accomplished. Coleman, your amazing yearbook, celebrates many of the highlights this class has realized. As athletes, your coaches attest to the dedication focus, and teamwork. Club advisors celebrate your generosity and collaboration. You enriched our local communities through your service in students' concern for the needy and Habitat for Humanity. Amnesty International and Student Movement Against Cancer took on challenges that transcend our communities. Through the Fanscotian, Raider News, JSA, Model UN, SGA, and Student Council, you gained appreciation for varied perspectives. In world language clubs, you immersed yourself in new cultures, and through a myriad of service learning projects, you helped others. You empowered peers through the work of BSU and SAGA. Marching band and instrumental music groups, choirs, and rep theater epitomized amazing synergy as your combined efforts were truly greater than the sum of the parts. But today is also bittersweet. As eager as you are to graduate, there's a piece in your heart that wants to hold on. The tug of the familiar is a place of comfort. The friendships, camaraderie, and the routines are the known that feels safer than the unknown that lies ahead. As eager as your parents are to see you move on to the next challenges, they may also be a bit reluctant to let you go. This is a paradox of change made more daunting by a world that has many uncertainties. But looking back over the last four years, you have acquired what it takes to move forward. You have learned to collaborate with others, to give back, to be persistent, and to be open to new ideas. Collectively, as a class, you have accomplished more than any one person could imagine. And it is precisely this ability to collaborate 
and appreciate interdependence with others that gives rise to success. In an ever-changing world, the relationships we build with others are the safe havens. The willingness to share openly with others enables them to respond in kind to us and advances the synergy of collaboration. This synergy buoys our persistence and provides the courage to push on and widen our horizons. The day-to-day -day experiences of the last four years through your classes, teams, clubs, fine and performing arts are the foundation of the work that lies ahead. In this world, no one makes it entirely on their own. You will need to engage with others and extend yourself. But if the last four years as a class are any indicator, you are off to a great start. So it is my privilege now, Mrs. Bauer and the members of the Board of Education, I certify that the 390 seniors receiving their diplomas this year have met all of the requirements dictated by the statutes of the state of New Jersey and the policies and bylaws of the Scotch Plains Fanwood Board of Education. Dr. Heisey and members of the Board of Education, I am proud to present to you the Scotch Plains Fanwood High School Class of 2016. <laughs> Graduates, please stand to be recognized. They're supposed to stand. We will now issue diplomas. The first diploma of the evening goes to the president of the class, Katie Welsh. Oh, okay. Oh, hi. Oh, yeah. oh, like this? Senior class vice president, Bianca Di Maria. Senior Class Secretary, Dakota Halma. Senior Class Treasurer, Bridget Venata. Valedictorian, Emily Elizabeth Boyle. Salutatorian, Cara Foley. Jamie L. Abar. Matthew Abdi. Catherine Aceto, Brianna Acosta, Dulce Esperanza Almonte, Paola Almonte, Rebecca Kate Ames, Alfonso Amore. Jennifer Anselin. Joseph M. Anacarico. Andrea Renee Anucci. Janae Armbrister. Joshua Axelrod. Caroline Babis. Emma Nicole Baggett. Raymond Baldwin. Daniel Balico. Donald Bamrick. Amanda Benaziak. 
Madison Banker. Lucas Bannon. <laughs> Sarah Barish. Makaya Battle. Madeline Bebout. Brianna Lynn Becker. Molly Becker. Jordan Belford. William Benavidez. Brianna Chanel Bennett. Isabella Bernardo. Noah Bernstein. Michael R. Besson. Nicholas J. Blank. Shay Blackinger Slocum. Frederick Lamar Blocker Jr. Justin Boozer. Sarah Elizabeth Bowles. Samantha Broders. Brittany Nicole Brown. Jacob Austin Brown. Jalen Bryant. Zoe Buckerty. Allison Busa. Joseph Budigari. Emma Calabrese. Nancy Marie Canavari. Celeste Nicole Cabadocia. Giovanna Claire Carlino. Anthony Caro Esposito. Nicholas Casara. Rebecca Emma Castiglia. Justin August Cerrito. Laura Charos. Nicholas Cheney. Sean Michael Cheney. Paul Cherubini. Robert Choi. Ashley Nicole Christian. Madeline Crystal. Kyle Chicolello. Chloe Bianca Semino. Jordan Simring. Zachary Simring. Emily Cohen. Logan Condon. Vincent Conti. Brianna Jacqueline Cook. Aaron B. Cooper. Christian Cornejo. Shannon Costello. Kyle Coop. Alexis Nicole Coso. Paige Crandall. Carly Rose Daniele. Casey Dodlin. Nicholas Davidman. Sarah Louise Davis. Daniel Dawson. Amanda Nicole DeBellis. Darby Ann DeBonis. 
Jack DeFau. Joseph Denman. Catherine A. DePaula. Edward E. DePaula. Margaret DeSantis. Mark Devine Gelling. Madison Alley Dew. James DeFrancesco. Kayla Ariel Diggs. Gabriella Elizabeth DeLolo. Frank Denizzo. Margaret Di Virgilio. Francesca Alexandra Dobies. Am I okay? Connor Dombrowski. Taylor Sade Downing. Courtney Nicole Dreyfus. Christopher Duffy. Marina Duffy. Marina. Emma Duggan. Maria Rihanna Duque. David Arenthal. Faith Ecofia. Abraham Elsett. Zachary Elsett. I'm gonna wait. Megan. Megan Erickson. Jacqueline Farenholtz. Brendan Fanning. Jessica Ferrara. Samantha Ferrara. Angelette Kahir Danielle Florence. Ali Flynn. Danielle Fortune. Abigail Fasasica. Wildej Tara Francois. Rebecca Arden Friedman. Alexander Fryer. Andrew Michael Fuchsman. Zachary T. Fumo. Jacqueline Gallo. Daria Ganza. Allison Guerra. Matthew Garber, Martha Garfalos, Stacy Garzon, Adam Gelfand, <laughs> Heather Goler, <laughs> Ian James Gordon, <laughs> Samantha Gorman. Ira Gottlobum. Austin Michael Graham. Ethan Cole Graham. Nathaniel Graham. Matthew Gorski. Jacob Gramber. Joseph Matthew Griffith. Rachel Gudewitz. Alexander Guevara. Joseph Guidi. Zachary Homa. Matthew Halpin. Kyle Hanna. Gilliam Cheney Harden. David Elijah Harris Jr. Matthew R. Heath. Cameron C. Heisey. Patrick Hankles. Elijah Hicks. 
Maximo Valdez Inojosa. Zayan Hoover. Alexander Hosmer. Austin Howerton. Ani Shu Obrock. Mary Hubbard. Donald Hudgens Jones. Anthony Hughes. Isabel Icona. Eva Isaacs. Shona Jane. Rachel Jansen. Maya Jaggedy. Jordan Alexander Jensen. Sophia Jimenez. Elizabeth Kamenoff. Lauren Nicole Kaminskis. Celine Karji. Rebecca Coffers. Amory Kearns. Nolan G. Kearns. Sabrina Khan. Megan Kiltica. Vance Kleemeyer. Lisa Klein. Kristen Kateret. Ryan Kolosinski. Julian Corduba. Nadim Korkmaz. Madison Cortling. Gail Elena Kosiolik. Adam Kosovan. Emma Kowalczyk. Gregory Kraus. Jonathan Kreine. Rashika Krishnan. Kavya Krishna Kumar. Leah Nicole Kronsteiner. Liza Jill Kustner. Rachel Marie Lambert. Lauren LaPena. Jillian Lapidus. Jessica Lauchek. Aaron Lee. George Likling. Thomas Lystico. Grace Lushy. Sierra Lesiak. Suing Liang. Tyler Litwin. Jake Longo. Giancarlo LaRusso. Stephanie Lucas. Gabriella McPherson. Kelly Ann Magrino. Brian Majek. Brandon Malone. Emma Manning. Caitlin Taylor Menino. Chloe Mancilla. Adam Marable. Thomas Margaritondo. Amelia E. Markey. John Marcourt. Kayla Martinez. Michelle Marvosa. 
Darren Massioli. Andrew Thomas Matthews. Brett Mayerson. Gabriella Mayerkin. Aaron B. McGriff. Brian McManus. Erin Mecca. Rebecca Catherine Mahorder. Sean Gary Coogan Meish. Tatiana Liz Melendez. Tessa Merlo. Jocelyn Mishnowski. Alyssa Megalino. Brandon Eric Megalino. Daryl Miller. Rebecca Miller. Zachary A. Miller. Zachary has achieved perfect attendance all four years of high school. Jordan Patrick Millings. Bethany Mills. Nina Minio Pankowitz. Mark Mattel. Timothy S. Mitchell. Lily Martina Mitterhoff. Kareem Muhammad Ali. Haley Monahan. Emily Marie Morris. China K. Mosby. Jake Merzinski. Sarika Mujumdar. James Murphy. Megan Murphy. Luke Masano. Catherine Muso. Amanda Nee. Ciara Nickdow Richardson. Selena Naval. Scott Nizalak. Tyler C. O'Brien. Erin Claire O'Connor, Amanda O'Hara, Shannon O'Neill, Matthew Oslislow, Daniel I. Ostape, Madeline Ostrander, Aniston Pagano, Nikitas Pahuntis. Michaela Parente Mangozi. Tyler Perezo. Sagu Patel. Fagan Carlin Peck. Elena Perez Mendoza. Vito N. Petiti. Celia Fansalkar. Joshmar Philippe. <laughs> Ann Pierce. Benjamin Powell. Elise R. Powers. Kara N. Provenzano. Nadia Racaniello. Ryan Radice. Steven Radice, George Ramos, Harry J. Randazzo, Geneva Rada, Andrew Ray, Connor Reddington, Dylan Redfield, Anna Ray Reese, Petra Rysorova, K. 
Caleb Eugene Rembert. Ulysses Reyes. Andrew Rimpisi. Caroline Ringel. Olivia Roberts. Nicholas J. Robbins. Erica L. Robinson. Summer Robinson. Allison Lang Roden. Zoe Erin Rodriguez. Arthur Roman. Jared Romero. Ari M. Rosenswag. Samuel Seidel. Anjanette Soleil. Layla Salgado. Michelle Gabriella Sandin. Carolyn Rose Santasalvo. Nicola Segulin. Anthony Francis Santora. Marielle Sass. Julianne Sawchuk. Matthew Schumann. Matthew Edward Schweitzer. Tori Shiara. Caroline Grace Scobie. Catherine Sini. Thomas Seidel. Stav D. Shadmi. Hijab Shadid. Wilson H. Sheck. Hannah Simon. Arlen Sinanovic. Lauren Chanel. Benjamin Skeins. Alexander C. Skoronsky. Kelly Smeltzer. Abalu Warren Sanganuga. Kevin D. Sonpar. Matthew Sosnowski. Nicholas Spadaro. Abby Spector. Taylor Spierko. Kimberly Spitzer. Jalen Stone. Nicholas Stone. Mary Catherine Stovall. Rohan Ayer Suresh. Jacob Sutherland. Kirsten Noel Swack. Bilal Syed. Lauren Spond. Ryan Tannenbaum. James Markell Taylor. James Tenzer. Adesh Tanawala. Isaiah Thompson. Alyssa Toro. Kate Trina. Tinapat Triamerit. Catherine Tafaro. Charles Uvino. Alexandra I. Velasquez. Bella Velez. Kevin Ariel Vera Proano. Vincent T. Verderamo. Zoe Love Verico. Dachi Molex Vilbon. 
Mercy Velasis, Samiksha Vidalraj, Devin Voorhees, Melanie Francis Walker, Connor Walsh, Grace Ellen Wayman, Mariah Gail Weigel, Marielle Joy Weigel, Melody Ann Weigel, Benjamin H. Weiss, Jason Michael Wendell, Joshua Widman, Jasmine Wilkes, Amani Williams, Victoria Elizabeth Williams, Eric Alexander Willis, Tyler Wilmot, Joseph James Witkowski, Michael Warner, Tyler Bernice Ren Sheffield, Michael Wright, Georgian Yarbanay, Caroline Yesman, Caitlin Yip, Brianna Alexia Young. Gally Zabrowski, Jenny A. Zacharin, Naomi Zaxenberg, Daniel Zhang, Vivian Lisa Zhuang, William Zimmerman. Natalie A. Zimmerman, Carly Zog, Once again, the president of the class, Katie Welsh. Oh, oh. Good evening. I'd like to welcome my fellow classmates, faculty, family, and friends. Tonight, I'd like to share with you an extremely riveting tale about a young girl from a small town who worked at an ice cream shop. Now there are some questions you might have right now. Who is this young girl? How small is this so-called small town? When will she stop talking? I want to go home. So to get things rolling here, it is me, yes, I am that young girl, hello. And I'm not so sure that Scotch Plains could be considered a small town, but it sounded cliche, so I went with it. Now, I've been working at Scoops, the ice creamery, on Route 22 since my junior year of high school, and I have learned quite a bit. There are many different aspects to the world of ice cream. You've got your hard ice cream, your soft serve, your milkshakes, all that good, saturated, fat-filled stuff. But I'm not so concerned about the ice cream. I'm more concerned about the people ordering the ice cream. Over my past year or so of employment, I've gotten to interact with some very mm, interesting characters, to say the least. There are the people who make you wait 15 minutes before actually giving you their order. They like to take their time deciding, acting as if they're buying a house. It's just ice cream, people. <laughs> Let's order already, please. 
Those people often tend to be the ones who check the change I hand back to them after they pay. Nothing makes me feel greater than when I realize I can't properly count back six cents in change. Gotta love my mediocre math skills. There are always a few people who try about nine or so flavors and then decide to get vanilla because that's original. Oh, there goes that, okay. Happens, people. But the people who really make my day are the ones who ask what's in the mint chocolate chip. They make my job a little more painful. There are also people like Dr. Heisey who only order Italian ice, fact. And then there's the machinery. If I had a dollar for every one of the times the soft, soft serve machines didn't work at scoops, well, I definitely wouldn't have to work at scoops. I've been assaulted by these machines countless times. Every time I go to pull the lever, I never know what's going to happen, and it's terrifying. There could be an explosion of liquid soft serve, maybe just an angry hiss, or sometimes absolutely nothing happens. No ice cream comes out. I can't imagine someone ordering ice cream wants to hear a girl yelling profanities while she's making their soft serve vanilla cone. Although, they usually understand when I turn around and they see that I have ice cream on my shirt, face, and even sometimes in my eye. Ah yes, who doesn't love the sweet, sweet burn of soft serve ice cream in their eye? And then, there's the cleanup. This part of the night always leaves me with so many questions. Why are sprinkles so tiny and impossible to clean up? Did this person order their ice cream just to drop it on the floor? Why are mops so heavy? Although the cleanup is a bit extensive, it goes a lot quicker with the help of my coworkers, like Rebecca Coffers. <laughs> some nights are just messier than others. So, a question some of you might have at this point is, why has this girl been rambling about her part-time job for so long? So allow me to break it down for you. You're going to encounter many people throughout your life. You're going to have many obstacles to overcome. You're going to have many tasks to complete that may not be glamorous, but they must be done. So I am here to thank that little ice cream shop that could. It has given me the patience to deal with all kinds of people. It has given me the strength to use the soft serve machine, no matter how terrifying it may be. And it has given me the will to work hard, regardless of the size of the mess. So my advice to you, my fellow graduates, taste all the ice cream flavors but do not be afraid to surmount the obstacles and get your hands dirty, because out of this noble work will come great success. I have to get my cap back on, hold on a second. Oh, hold on, oh, man, what is up with this wind? My God, can someone hold this to me? Thank you. Aren't these things the worst? And finally, will the class of 2016 please stand? Now, now, people. Now, now. It is with great honor and pride that I declare the class of 2016 alumni of Scotch Plains Fanwood High School.